What's up, it's Jim from On Point Samples. I'm gonna make sidekicks today, and after this video, you will know how to make them yourself, professionally. Here's the deal, it sounds like this. And as you can hear, there's differences. You have these raw sidekicks. As you can hear, there's also variations that are a little bit more clean, a little bit more hard style -y, mid intro ish. Let's just focus up on the clean version and you can always get more raw easily. The only thing I'm not going to show you is how you make a crunch. So I'm not going to focus on the crunch, but you can get our free sample packs with the link below. You can use our crunches there. Let's start off with a punch. And generally we want to make a mid intro punch just to have that, you know, psi effect. How I do that is just envelope two and three. I'll just add these two course pitch, kind of the same thing. Let's just render this out, get that in the playlist. You have this, and then you pogo it. And let's just go back in Serum until we find something that's nice. I think we can work with this. We can always go back and improve it if we want to. So here's our punch. By the way, if you don't have Pogo because you're not in FL Studio, you can go to Nimble Kick and in Nimble Kick, you'll find Pogo here as well. So if you load in that render that you just made and just play around with this, you can still use Pogo. This is generally the length of your punch that you want to have. Definitely don't have it go over this. Don't make it do this. So for the crunch, you're going to go to Hardstyle Essentials 3 and then in here we have a crunch folder. For example, let's get to work with this one. Obviously this is a processed crunch and it's already really good. You might have made a crunch and it sounds like this, right? And now you have your kick and now you're like, I want to make a psy kick. How the hell do I even start? What people generally do is take a bass and then kind of just duplicate it, right? It would look something like this. You have your, you have your crunch or whatever, and you take one point and then you just duplicate it. And then you're like, well, I made a psy kick. Like, I hear a lot of kicks like this and it kind of is not how you want to do it. What I like to do is, in this case, the crunch doesn't start here. So we only have the three fourth of the kick. So I'll just duplicate this part here. I don't want to do this because we're going to sidechain. So this will not be hearable anyways. So instead of doing that, the first beat, I kind of want to do this. So it kind of introduces the kick, right? We get this. Then I kind of want to do something similar, but the other way around because, you know, we have the first quarter note. And then here you want to also obviously get this and you get this. What you've now done is have an evolving crunch that is also evolving in the quarter notes instead of having a static one. So that's the first thing you can always do. The second thing you can do is work between the length of each note like this. It doesn't have to be equally as long any every time. This is possible. And this is possible. Something will sound better than the other, but you know, I just generally want to use a little bit of room between each note like this. So I have a really tight kick and I keep moving them until they sound okay-ish, you know? The third and final point is actually just that you don't have to use like the same space between each note. So you can play with the timing like. And this really works if you kind of want to make like these weird Subtura Project Psy kicks. You don't really have to use the quarter note rhythm. Obviously, you can also do triplets. So how that would look is uh, let's just duplicate this kick because I don't want to lose our progress. Make this unique. So we have this right here, right? So how you would want to work then is just take your crunch, put it on thirds, and then just divide it into thirds, obviously, like uh, like so. Du -ba -du -ba -ba -du. As you can hear, this one is not long enough, so you just drag it back and you do this. And same goes for like this one can go like this. And there you have your triplet rhythm. So in this case, I'm just going to work with our normal quarter note rhythm. And let's take it into the mixer and then you'll see that there's a few things you can always do that will make the psychic better than it already is because it is very dry and it's nothing special. First thing I always do is get my bunch in one channel and my crunch in one channel. It's super important to always work organized. It just helps you in the long run. And if you collaborate, people immediately know what you did. And I just don't like unorganized mixers. So this is gonna be called the kick buzz. The crunch and bunch all go into this one. And to make everything mix properly, I'm just gonna make sure the volumes aren't squashing against zero. You know, you want to have a little bit of hat room, so. Now with this, to improve the side chain, I'm going to add limiter on the crunch and I'm going to automate the gain, just get rid of that ceiling so it's not limiting anything. I just want to make sure that we're kind of controlling the kick a little bit better than we already did. So, Even if it's subtle, it will make a big difference. 
As you know, I always throw a soft clipper and an inflator at the end of my chain. And uh, if you don't have an inflator, here we go again. You have a wave shaper, put it on half sign, and that's similar. It's like, it's very similar, you know. Open the effect. Open the soft clipper. Oh, whoa, we need more volume. Well, okay, more soft clipping. Then I always throw an EQ. I can already hear that my punch in this case needs more highs and a little bit more punch. So let's improve the highs here. And I'm also going to throw in a transient shaper. Just add some attack. We get a nice clipped transient because obviously the transient has more volume and thus it gets more clipping, you know, because the transient gets into that clipping zone. So if a clipped punch now... And we can always clean up the kick. Maybe this frequency doesn't sound as good, you know? This gets dirty and this doesn't, so... It's something, so let's start working with this, okay? It's time to work on reverb. Let's just get one channel next to the punch right here, and let's get one channel that's clean next to the crunch. Punch, reverb, crunch, reverb, boom. Punch reverb will go into the kick bus, obviously, and the crunch reverb as well. So the punch immediately goes into the punch reverb, and in here we're gonna make it 100% wet. So let's use for hollow room like this. Then I always add OTT like this, just take down these two knobs. Then I add an EQ, remove the bass, remove the highs. Something like this, you can always tweak it later. Limiter, gain automation, no ceiling, and then we're just gonna make this open up. We can control it later, okay? Same goes for the crunch. Let's get rid of the punch now. Goes into this channel. We can basically just duplicate whatever we did here. So save the mixer. Boom. Now we have the same thing going on. Automate the gain again. And for the crunch reverb, I might want to make it look like this. So the punch goes, you know, the punch goes like this. Just opens up at the end. For the crunch, I kind of want to do something else. Let's take the quarter right there. And then we have it open up uh, somewhere like this range. And then... So now we have this. I can hear that this is way too muddy, so I'll just throw in another EQ, because then I can see that I might think it's cut something, but you know, looking back, it's still pretty muddy, so. Something you can do is open up the stereo separation of the, uh, of the crunch reverb like this a little bit to make it wider. Next step is kind of improving the transient of that quarter note. So what you can do for that is you can use your punch. And this is especially something that works well if you're using a raw style punch. So for example, let's just see what happens if we throw one in. With our kick builders, it's obviously very simple. Doesn't work as well because we process it differently. But if you then take that punch that you made and you kind of like duplicate it like this, you know, you make it you get a really nice bouncy rhythm. But let's just use our punch that we made right here. So you get to choose to maybe add another mid intro punch and use that click instead because it has a nice transient. And then you're just gonna accentuate those quarter notes and add this to the kick buzz. Change the sample and maybe... And then you can maybe change the length. Change the reverbs. Change the bogo. Maybe that's something that's missing. I'm doing this from scratch, so that's why I go back. In Serum, I might want to even have a little bit more envelope too. Make it longer. See what happens. Now I just need to make it lower. Okay, so maybe this worked, but we just need to go lower. So we go... There you go. It's a pretty nice punch. I just wanted to have that punchy, lasery attack. I didn't have that, so I go back in Serum and just tweak it until it sounds good. So something that happened here is that we're using a reverse bass crunch, right? So let's maybe use another crunch just to see what happens. And this is why these kick builders are really handy, because you can just find something else and see if that works for you, you know? Uh, let's throw that in. Kind of want to make this like this, because I don't want to have it tweak, you know? I like this one, that's really good. Just wanna make sure that we have this quarter note right here. And then add this quarter note here too. Since we add this quarter note transient here, we do have to get this through a limiter or a kickstart. You can use kickstart for this, you know? As you can see, it will cut into that transient a little bit. 
Now we can also improve the side chain on the crunch because I wanted a little bit more bounce. And now you can also go into the crunch and maybe improve the mids because I want some more movement. This crunch, we changed the crunch, so you gotta change the kick. Let's first improve the mids here and then go back and add an automation clip. So we're gonna automate this right here. So we kind of have some movement in the kick. This. Pretty good, we're getting there. Now we can add a few things in front of this kick. Something that I always love to do is add a disperser. I think we wanna use this on the punch only and not on the whole kick. Sometimes it works for the whole kick. I wanna keep it clean. More of a lasery kick now and I like that, so. So now we can go back into the EQ of the kick. I'm just gonna add one more and uh, tweak frequencies and see what happens. If you want these very clean kicks, you know, cut into the lows right here and then just we're going to fix it later. But, you know, you get a really modern side kick, you know. Maybe boost the bass. And you make it more of like a humph kick, you know. We can maybe improve the highs of this crunch. And then we can play around with some things such as distortion. We can add a little bit of hard clipping, see what happens. Maybe play with the punch reverbs and stuff. As you can hear, the punch reverb maybe has a little bit too much of a sucking effect, basically. <laughs> but let's take that down slightly. We just want to make sure the blend between these reverbs are, you know, bouncy. Like the rhythm is rhythming. And maybe it's better if we put it here. Pretty nice. The distortion does help, so let's keep it there. Another trick you can throw on this is Serum FX. In Serum FX, you can obviously take multiband compressor, take that down, and take this down. You get an extremely aggressive kick, but you can take down the ratio. To make it a little bit less, take down the mix here. We gotta control the highs on this one. Too aggressive. Throw on a transient shaper and maybe add some pump. A really nice trick obviously is adding the pump here and the attack and a high speed because it's gonna add a little bit more transient on the punch because it's so fast, it's just gonna focus on the punch, so. A final thing you can do is take another crunch in A sharp. Oh, we can actually try this. Different kick, you know? Take your same crunch and then stretch it a lot, but put it on E3 mono. A very stretched out robotic version of your crunch. We're gonna just add that in the mixer again. We're gonna add that to the crunch right here. Cut the bass like this. And then we're also gonna just maybe add distortion, add asymmetric distortion. I'm gonna add another one to cut into it even more. Try to blend this in. Let's add one asymmetrical distortion. And then you can improve this to widen up the whole stereo image by adding a chorus, for example. I like to use Serum FX for this instead, but you can add any chorus. Serum FX has some nice widening up the hyper dimension, obviously. Just like this. And we can add the chorus right here. Take down the depth. Open the feedback. And you can play around with a filter, like the reverb filter, see what happens. Add some panning. Or use the comps filter. And then take down the mix. The goal of this is just to make a very wide crunch and then just have it go on top of everything to glue it better. And this subtle layer does make a difference and it probably takes the kick to the next level and you don't really hear it that often or you cannot hear it that easily, that's what I'm trying to say. But you can actually use that and just make it a little bit better, you know? So let's render out this kick. You could use this, but what I'm trying to do right here is maybe we can actually just take this kick in the mixer, the render right here. And then just add a few more effects in the mixer here to kind of upgrade the kick too. So maybe inflate it more.
You don't want to squash it too much, but uh, just so we see if we could improve the transients a bit. Well, yeah, this looks better than the previous kick, right? So render it and see if you can clip it a little bit more to add a bit more power and like less dynamic range. So there you go. So that's how I make Psy Kicks. If you have other methods, let me know in the comments. You can get this whole template for free on our website. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and have a really nice day.